Most of us are familiar with Mount Everest. We know it as a snowy adventure in the Himalayas, where if you reach its peak, you will be on top of the world, quite literally. The mountain reaches a staggering 8,850 meters, and its peak is the highest point on our planet. However, this snow-capped mammoth of a challenge is more than the stunning landscape and impressive journey. It's well known that this region attracts plenty of talented expeditioners, though it has an alarming 14.1% fatality rate for those embarking upon the mission. The sheer height, thin air, and difficult terrain makes this mission one that certainly will be remembered. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent discoveries that center around Mount Everest. Microplastics found near the top of Mount Everest Pollution is a topic of increasing concern in recent years, and the threats are only continuing to rise. Microplastics have been found from all ends of the Earth, from the very bottom of the Mariana Trench, and, as of 2020, the very highest points in the world on Mount Everest. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic that are typically formed from larger pieces of litter having been broken down. It's classified as a microplastic once it spans less than 5 mm across. Researchers from the University of Plymouth in the UK, led by Imogen Napper, gathered samples of stream water and snow from varying points along the mountain. Out of a total of 8 stream samples and 11 snow samples, there were microplastics found in all snow samples and 3 separate stream samples. It's phenomenal that this research was able to be conducted. Furthermore, it's great to understand more about the environment and be able to find information like this out. However, it's truly devastating that there are so many pollutants in what should be such a well-kept environment. The most polluted sample came from the Everest Base Camp in Nepal, which is known to be the most concentrated point of human activity up the mountain. The majority of the microplastics were found to have come from several synthetic fibers, from polyester to acrylic, strongly indicating that their presence can be considered, at least in part, to be the fault of those hiking, since these materials are commonly used in the production of appropriate clothing for the climate. We are yet to see just how awful this is in regard to the impact it will inevitably be having upon various ecosystems and organisms, not to mention human health too. Christian Dunn from Bangor University in the UK said, we can't afford plastics to be the asbestos of the 21st century, a comparison that makes it glaring to those of us who may not know just how dangerous this plastic pandemic could be. It is so important to protect and preserve these spaces as best we can. We need to reduce the plastic in the environment full stop, never mind when it is being found in some of the most remote places on our planet. Climbers missing in Himalayas unlikely to be found. This next story does not focus on Mount Everest itself, but rather a neighbor within the Himalayan mountain range, Nanda Devi. This mountain is the second largest in India, following Kanchenjunga. At its staggering height of 7,817 meters, it's well known for its highly remote nature, surrounded by a number of topographical phenomena, from glaciers to alpine meadows, amongst other impressive features. In 2019, a group aiming to explore the mountain unfortunately went missing. This internationally formed group included four British people, two from America, someone from Australia and India. The group was reportedly being led by the mountaineer Martin Moran before they fell out of touch, with the cause of their disappearance being attributed to avalanches across the Himalayas. Initial searches for the team were conducted via Indian Air Force helicopters, though this aerial search did not prove promising. And following this first hurdle, the statistical likelihood of finding the group devastatingly plummeted. Further hindering the search, a spell of poor weather suspended the search party, with the conditions becoming far too treacherous to embark upon the rescue mission. To reach the last confirmed location of the group would take days, Reports show that the group were hiking and climbing along a route that had previously not been used, adding further uncertainty and difficulty in finding them. Initially, our octet had been part of a larger group, comprised of 12 climbers who set off on the 13th of May 2019, starting their journey from the western Nepal border, in the village of Munsiari. 
It was days later on May 22nd that the team reached the second base camp. Though three days after, on May 25th, the deputy leader of the expedition returned to camp with three of the climbers, while our eight continued upwards, attempting to reach the summit of a previously unclimbed peak. As we know, the rest of the group never returned, so when this plan was seemingly abandoned, concern of course began to swell. Officials were informed, and the four who had safely returned to camp were brought back via helicopter. The family of the leader of the expedition, Moran, did argue for the search area to be widened, and to continue to be widened in increments until there was some sort of confirmation of what had happened to each member of the climbing group, no matter what that outcome may have been. A tent had been spotted by experts, though there was no glimpse of any human activity or movement surrounding it. There was a confirmation of a number of avalanches having fallen in this region, with footprints being spotted leading towards the site in which an avalanche may have taken place. A total of 48 rescuers were deployed in the search, alongside drones, to try to approach the site of the avalanche, though a lack of findings seemed to be the common thread – no clothing, no equipment, and most importantly, no people. Despite the experience within the group, this was an immense challenge, and one that proved too risky. This particular region of the Nandi Devi mountain is known for its difficulty. This combined with an unapproached path made the mission even more remarkable, despite its tragic end. To place the risks into perspective, this climb in this region is an estimated five times more deadly than Mount Everest. Mount Everest gets Wi-Fi signal A Chinese communications company has managed to set up mobile data masts way up on Mount Everest. The perfect way to get sending and posting those impressive photos and you would certainly win prizes for the best be real. Alongside these impressive internet speeds, there are a few other benefits you will see up Mount Everest currently, including luxury cabins, fully decked out with beds and electricity. This, of course, by no means makes the climb any less impressive, difficult or treacherous, with several people failing to make safe returns. In more recent years, some people have begun to express concern regarding the number of people attempting to climb Mount Everest, from those who are not quite experienced enough to take this challenge on, to the concerns regarding the levels of rubbish on the mountainside. This could have a detrimental impact upon the environment and pollution levels in general. 2019 saw a picture surface in which it was visible that there was a long queue of people waiting to reach the summit of the mountain, further propelling the concerns regarding the number of people attempting the climb. Some reported there was even an alarming amount of human feces, alongside plenty of climbing gear and plastic waste. While it's exciting that there are so many people embarking upon this adventure and that they will be able to update family and friends in real time, it's important that we take every measure possible to preserve and protect this environment. But what are your thoughts on these Mount Everest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.